Hey what's up guys, I'm Gunnix here and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So in today's Halo 5 Forge tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a autopilot vehicle, or in this case an autopilot pelican, in Halo 5. I've made a video on this in the past before, but I forget exactly what I said in that video, and I think the video might be a little outdated now, could be wrong, who knows, maybe it's still good to this day and you guys could still learn something from it, but I thought I'd just make an updated video, one that's more, you know, newer, and probably better explained than that one, so if you guys do enjoy, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more, and let's get right into it. So first off, as you can see, I am here in the back of this pelican, just flying around in infinite circles, basically. So basically what I've done with this uh, pelican, which I'll show you guys in a minute with the scripting, is I've made it just go in infinite circles, and it doesn't stop, it doesn't go out of the loop or anything, because I've done this sort of thing in the past before, right, where I try to get like a pelican flying in circles and stuff, but then what it... But then what ends up happening, right, is it ends up going all wacko and it'll end up throwing itself off course and not doing what it's meant to be doing. But this time I've actually got it so then it really does stay on course and it just goes in a continuous circle and doesn't stop, it doesn't leave where it's not meant to be. So how about I show you guys the scripting, what I've got here. So basically, uh, in case you didn't know, in Halo 5 Forge, you can do scripting with objects. So you just go into an object's properties, and then you go down to the scripting section, and you can add a new script and whatever. So this here, so, so for this pelican, I've got two scripts. One of them is to move it forward, and the other one is to rotate it. So here we have the script which makes it move forward, so if you want to know how to get your pelican moving forward uh, for this autopilot pelican trick, well then just look at this script and do what I've got here. So as you can see it moves forward by uh, 36, so whatever you set this value to that will be like the speed the pelican moves at. Basically this is just the speed I've got it at, and the timer check basically um... It's sort of hard to explain what that's for. I think that's to repeat the movement. So, uh, yeah, I think that's to, like, repeat it moving forward and stuff. I think that's what the time is exactly for. And so now here we have the rotate script. So basically, as you can see here, we've got it so then it's rotating on its yaw, which is basically its y-axis. So I'll just go around in circles, and yeah, so I've got it set to 11.75 here, and yeah. So you guys might want to do the exact same uh, move forward speed and rotate speed as I did, as this is how I've been able to get it perfectly without, you know, messing up and stuff. And yeah, once you do all that, then your pelican should relatively be normal, and just flying around in circles and whatnot. Oh, and also in the movement section, uh, what I did too was for the target, I set it to nothing. So yeah, be sure to set the target to nothing. Because otherwise, if it's set to something else, like I'm pretty sure by default, the target that the, objects will, that the object will be set to is itself. So itself is its own target. What you want to do is you just want to set that to nothing and yeah. Also, when it comes to the rotate offset as well, you want to make sure that you just have... Instead of setting it to nothing, you just want to leave it as this, as in this object. So, yeah, you want to keep the rotation as is. You don't want to change the target of that, because I actually changed the target to nothing. And uh, what ended up happening was the pelican just went straight. So, you have to have this as the target, and yeah. So anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Also, if you did find it helpful... If you want more Halo 5 Forge tutorials, uh, be sure to give me an idea of what I could do down in the comments below in the near future. And yeah, see you all soon. Bye-bye.